they're doing it because it's their body and they like it. They are into the spooky things because that's what they like. They enjoy those things. Much like it's very difficult for me to do comparisons to like normal people because my brain doesn't function like that. I don't think sparkles and think yay. I think oh my god it's fucking glitter. Keep that shit off of me. It's herpes. I that's just how my brain is wired. So for me it's very much more about the wiring in someone's brain as opposed to Oh, well, you must know all of the origins of where this subculture originated. You have to listen to all of the gothic bands. And if you don't dress this way all the time, you're not a goth. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I, I genuinely do not give a fucking fuck if somebody feels like that is a not okay thing. Because, I'm sorry, but I'm not in it for you. I'm in it for me. And I have friends that are in it for them. And they don't fucking care what I do with my life as long as I'm happy. And that's how friendships work. Anyway. Ugh. Number five. What do you dislike about being up? Work! Oh my god! Okay, so there's several things that I would dislike about being up. Mostly dropping that pepper. Um, but the biggest thing that I have an issue with is the stigma. Uh, the social stigma. I have developed very high anxiety over the past years that I've only just now started to kind of deal with. And part of my anxiety is an extreme agoraphobia, which I didn't know it was as bad as it was until like I did this anxiety thing where I like had to answer a questionnaire and I don't leave my house. And at first I was like, well that's not really a big issue. A lot of people are hermits and don't really leave their houses and spend all of their time on the internet and spending time like just shopping for people and hanging out with their small group of friends. Oh, that's totally normal. No, I got to the point where I don't like it my job because I don't want to be around people. It's gotten to the point where um, I'm a hairdresser by trade and I went to school for it. I don't even like being in a salon because I fucking hate people. I hate going out and being around people and social stigma of like, oh, you look fucking weird. Here, I have the right touch you, I have the right to touch your clothes, your hair, everything. I have the right to scream things at you that I wouldn't scream at any other person. I have the right to behave in the most inappropriate manner just because of how you look. I just fucking hate that social stigma. Um, and on a lighter note, <laughs> Uh, things that I hate about being goth is the work that you have to put in to be goth because, like, people think, oh, well, you know, you're goth, you are probably a little bit more low maintenance than regular girls. Oh, oh, hell, oh, hell no. I feel so bad for my boyfriends at the time because, um, at, at any time, really, and I've only ever been romantically involved in really one spooky dude, and I got to the point where you're just, uh, can't, okay? <laughs> Not for this video. Anyway, so, like, I have only ever been with non spooky dudes because I am romantically inclined towards people whose insides I like, and they don't have to necessarily be spooky. Like, they just have to be accepted of the fact that I'm spooky sometimes. Um, both of my boyfriends are not. They're not kind of spooky. Granted, Red has he's, he's been in the goth sub subculture. He was a goth in high school. He's not now though. That's just not what he does. And Tim is not not at all. At all. Not even a little. Um really it it's way more work and I kind of feel bad a lot of the time because like I feel like I'm wasting their, their time sometimes, and like my friend's time. I'm very like, and I'm gonna put on my face, I'm gonna put on a full face. I am all or nothing. I'm gonna go out looking scrubby as fuck with my acne all up in your grill, and my hair looking a mess, and I'm in PJs. Or I'm gonna go out looking fly as fuck. And I can't really do middle ground very well. Um, I'll do like more natural looking makeup. 
sometimes and like more calmed down with clothes, but even then, it still takes me 45 minutes to do a natural looking makeup. And I feel very bad like when I'm doing my face, and I'm eating up my boyfriend's time. It just, it, it makes me feel bad. And then on top of that, like I make it a point to go out during the like, Halloween months. Like right now, is Halloween stuff starting to come out, and I'm super, super excited, and I've been to every craft store near me, except for Pat's Sands, and I've, I've spent stupid amounts of money on this already, and I'm just I'm super, super excited, and I've already got most of the costume ready, and I've been buying stuff for the setup for the YouTubes, and, and it's so much harder to, like, get things throughout the year. I have to, like, really search through the thrift store, or search through I shop everywhere, but I have to search through things to find stuff that, like, one, I'm spiritually okay with wearing or owning, because there's a lot of, like, symbolism that I'm like, I don't believe in that, I won't wear it. Or, uh, like, cultural things that I'm like, that, that's probably not a good idea for me to wear that, I'm, I'm too white for this, I'm too white for this. I don't ever actually say that. <laughs> But there are, like, cultural things that I'm like, I'm not going to step there because that might offend somebody. And it kind of offends me because it's, it's, it's not my culture. Um, anyway. So it's just very hard to, like, be a god. It's hard to find things that you like, one, and then two, to buy them because they cost an arm and a fucking leg. Because all god clothes are up, marked. Like, they're marked up. And I think that's really weird because, like, You'll get the goth clothes and the goth brands, and I've noticed in the goth culture we have a lot more of a tendency to be like, this is shit quality. But you'll get them, and they'll be kind of shit quality, and I'm like, what is this? What is this? Which is why I DIY stuff, or I'll like, go and find stuff at regular stores, and then pair it with accessories that make it spooky, which is fucking easier than anything else. Granted, spooky accessories usually come from eBay. But still, anyway, there's a laundry list of things that I don't like about being goth, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, number six, what do your parents think? Yeah, so, okay, uh, tiny little segment of my life, um, my mom raised me from the time I was two until the time of but whatever. My like growing up story is kinda of shit. Um but like my biological dad was not a part of my life until I was sixteen. And by that time, you know, the damage is already done. And <laughs> I'm gonna be this way on the go And I know they love me and they love me for who I am and they're very accepting to a point, but sometimes they'll say stuff and I'm just like, that is very I, like I said, it started 
need to dig, but, you know. Um, we were going to the mall, and this is the beginning of me starting into cyber, and, like, wearing dress balls, um, drawing on my eyebrows, and doing dots, and just doing weird shit. And I felt really cute that day, and we were about, uh, over right outside the mall parking lot. And she goes, so, we're walking separate, right? Because I kind of don't want to be seen with you. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. So, the thing to question is why do you know I have yours? They're gone. They've been gone since I was 17. I don't plan on growing them back any time soon. Uh, what is your favorite band? I don't have one, but I will mention a few bands that are very important. Um, Elephants was my first, like, kind of equally inclined band that I, it was like the first two years of mine, so that was a very nice thing, and uh, I used to, like, sing along to Fallen all the time. I still do, like, I'll just put on Fallen and just sing all night. Uh, it's really good for you guys. Uh, and, uh, I have to mention typo negative. I don't listen to them as much anymore, which is kind of sad. But I have to mention them because they're the band that, like, made me want to start trying to find my dad. Uh, that this is very, very important to me for that, like, section of my life. While it was incredibly difficult, I love my dad stuff. Um, and I'm very happy that I know him and I can go and visit him when I'm able to. Um, it's a big part of my life because he wasn't for a very long time. So it's very important to me. And then, um, uh, aesthetic perfection is a frequent here. Uh, I listen to them all the time. I listen to them when I put my makeup on, I listen to them when I'm cleaning, I listen to them when I'm working, I listen to them a lot. Um, and then, uh, Perfect Circle. Uh, Perfect Circle and Cool are what I listen to when I'm trying to speak. Or do good things. But, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> what is your opinion of Venom Manson? So, I personally don't understand the whole, like, obsession with hating on Marilyn Manson and the goth subculture. You all know, need to calm the fuck down. Cause, for real, he's an artist. He's doing this. He's generated so much controversy, which is what he wanted to do. That is his thing. His thing is to stir controversy. And a lot of people are like, oh, he's not a god. And it's like, that's an era. Goth. And I feel like a lot of people are too fucking set in their ways when it comes to goth. They're like, oh, well, you have to be about the 80s trad goth, or you have to be about the roots, and yada yada. And I'm like, every new generation is going to add their own little spin to the goth self cult because that's what cults do. They evolve, they change, they get different with every passing generation. And like it or not, Marilyn Manson has been a generation or two or seven of the subculture. Fucking get over it. Anyway, um, what were your baby bat days like? Um, so I don't really like the baby bat term. Like it's cute as fuck. It is so cute. But I. Uh, when I think of baby beds, I think, like, Lily Mason dressed up in spooky clothes, which is, one, fuck yeah, but two, I don't like that it's used as an insult. Um, fucked up. Fucked up. You're gonna try to find somebody for baby beds to live in Really? You're fine. Um, but my personal, like, baby bed philosophy is like, if people are baby beds slash artists, so cultural when they're, like, trying to learn what, what, what their niche is, what their thing is that they do and that they're wanting to look like and present themselves and what they are, and for everybody, that's when you're a teenager. It really is. Like, as a teenager, you're learning who you are, and I mean, I shouldn't say that for most people, because there are some people whose, like, families kind of prevent that, and that's fucked up. And you're one of those families. You're fucked up first. Anyway, so... Um, my teenage 
computers, I spent a lot of time being a same kid and trying to learn to do things. And because that was that was what we did at my school and I tried really hard to fit it in because I was really tired of being picked on. And it didn't work. So don't do that. <laughs> don't not be me. Terrible idea, don't do it. But uh, the entire time I was like when I was at home by myself, which was quite a lot, I would try things like makeup would do weird shit to my hair, or have all these crazy ideas for things that I could do with my hair, and spend hours scouring the internet for like awesome things to do with my hair. And there's like my nerdy side, which I like my nerdy side. I would never be ashamed of my nerdy side. But I, at 17, just decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna start doing these things in public. And so, like, people because I was really tired of having to invite things that I like and having to just slowly introduce them to people. No, this is me. This is what I'm going to do. Um, I, over the course of like three years, got pretty decent at makeup and I started wearing more goofy stuff and after I turned 18, I didn't have to wear a uniform for work or for school anymore, so I, I bought my clothes, and I bought stuff that was spooky, and I'm sad now because a lot of it doesn't fit, because now I've gained quite some amount of weight, um, my hips widened again, so I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> but, what can you do? But that completes the goth tag. Um, I implore you to stay tuned for the rest of the girls. We have some awesome, awesome people on the channel. You've already got to see them on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Go ahead and stay and stick around for Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. You never know, you'll just enjoy it. It's, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. But, yes, once again, I'm your Wednesday, Brenna Page. And, uh, give it a like, subscribe, comment. Any kind of like feedback from you guys, we are all, all about it, all kinds of about it. So, yes, and I will also include a link to my channel in the description below. So, uh, yeah, there will also be links to the fan page for this channel and for my channel. There will be links for all of the websites that are affiliated with this channel. And, uh, yeah, have an awesome day.